I'm here at the Allegheny Intermediate Unit in Homestead with 24 teachers from across Allegheny County who are attending a training session about how to use virtual reality tools in the classroom. So here with me is sixth grade social studies teacher from the Elizabeth Forward School District, Eric Weimerskirch, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what he learned today and what the district's already doing. So Eric, to start, can you tell us um, how have you used technology in the classroom before and you know, what does the district already have going on? Well, about a decade ago, we got a new superintendent, Dr. Bart Rocco, and uh, his assistant superintendent, uh, Dr. Kruskin, and they totally transformed our district into a technology uh, district. We are known for our technology, and we're always trying to uh, take one step ahead, basically, because con it's constantly changing, and this is the next wave. Uh, we recently completed an iCreate studio at the middle school, which has a studio for the children. It has uh, interactive screens all kinds of technology. We have a small lab, an energy lab, and this is just the next step in our evolution to try to engage the students. Uh, the culture has changed, learning has changed, and we want to try to keep up with it. So can you tell us about some of the tools you practice with today? Today we learned uh, two great apps, um, VR, John VR and Google Expeditions. And first thing we learned was the jargon. Many of us have never used virtual reality. And so we learned some of the equipment, some of the jargon, and the um, sites that you can go on. Uh, John VR is a repository of all kinds of uh, already uh, loaded content. So we took uh, tours all around the world. We went to Yellowstone, we went to Vietnam, China. and. Um, it's just an amazing technology. I was not prepared for the visual, uh, the, the full body experience of, the, of all the emotions. And that was just using used. your cell phone and just, Google just Cardboard, Just a cell right? phone and an $8 cardboard, uh, you know, a POTOC uh, uh, enhancer, yeah. Right, so, so the, the first part of the session today was experimenting with mm -hmm. low-end virtual reality tools. Right. Um, Google Cardboard runs about 8 to $15, mm -hmm. and all you need is your cell phone and the apps. You exactly. said that you're... Exactly, right, and the apps so. are free. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what about this afternoon? What was some of the more high-end? Well, this afternoon we went a little bit higher. We. Uh, Google Expeditions um, with Carnegie Mellon University. And, and we already at Elizabeth Ford have a partnership with CMU, their ETC. Um, they do our small lab, which is a um, room where we have games projected on the floor, and the students use wands to move figures around. Uh, so we know them pretty well, and this was amazing. This was actually flying over an area and getting as close as you want and, and, and really seeing the landscape from all different perspectives. I could see myself using this in the classroom. For so, sure. Eric, to close, how would this help students um, maybe experience something they can't get out of a textbook, or how does it push learning further? Well, I'll give you an example. We just completed a unit on Thermopylae and the Battle Marathon for the Ancient Greeks. And to, to talk about it and even show a movie from the History Channel is one thing, but to actually take them to Thermopylae and show them the choke point, show them the hills and the, and the GNC, and actually have them walk the road would be just amazing. Um, or to actually, in the future, when they have battle scenes that could be real without too much violence, to have a student feel like he's ready to go into battle, um, it would just be immeasurable. Um, it, it reminds me of when we first started doing technology, even with the iPads, um, how much more you can do to augment and then redefine a lesson. Now with this, this is the next step. Uh, it reminds me when I was a kid and watching Star Trek, and uh, they had the uh, virtual reality. It's it's here. Yeah, it's like so. being on the holodeck, right? Right, the holodeck. That's <laughs> well, thank you so much, Eric. I'm Jamie Martinez for the Tribune Review. You're welcome. Thanks.